hello friends welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to use some extra and short availability commands so let's go in my last video i already showed you how to check availability using general availability command and how to check availability using carrier specific availability command in order to use the commands that i'm going to show you now first you have to check the availability using basic and general availability that i already showed you in my last video so let's suppose a passenger comes and he asks you to check the avail availability for 10th march and he wants to travel from dubai to london heathrow in that case you will use this availability command a for availability then date and then sector which is BSB2 LSR. Let's say that let's say that he wants to travel on Emirates. Then in that case, carrier specific availability command will be like this. After writing it, hit enter. System will give you all the available flights, their timing, and all other detail like this. Now let's say that this passenger changes his mind and he says that he wants to travel on. 20th March. So in that case, instead of typing whole availability command, simply type A has 10 and hit enter. You see, system has given you availability ahead of 10 days ahead of 10th March, which is 20th March. So this is a short way of checking availability if a passenger changes his mind and, and tells you that he wants to travel after 5 days or 10 days or 15 days from the original availability that he told you before. Let's say he again changes his mind and he says no I want to travel on 10th March then instead of typing whole availability command simply type A minus 10. It will reduce the it will reduce 10 days from the previous availability and it will give you result like this. As you can see before it was 20th March, now it is 20th March. Mean, now it is, I'm sorry, now it is 10th March. That means system has subtracted 10 days from 20th March and given, given you the result. Let's say that this passenger, passenger again tells you that he wants to, okay. Actually, uh, before I tell you that, let me remove this from my screen. Let's say a pa another passenger comes and he tells you that he wants to travel on 5th March. So first we will show the basic availability. Basic availability command, write it and hit enter. And now let's say this passenger this passenger tells you that he wants to return after 10 days then in that case instead of typing whole availability command simply type a which is for which is for availability r which is for return hash 10 hash 10 means that 10 days ahead of original availability but he wants to return so this r means this availability will give you result of 10 days ahead but with return sector. Write this command, hit enter and see the result. Do you see? The system has reversed the sector. Before it was Dubai, London, Heathrow and now it is London, Heathrow to Dubai and the date is 15th March which means system is showing you availability of 10 days ahead but with return sector. I hope you are understanding my point. Let me clarify it. Let, let me clarify it with one another example. Let's say one another passenger comes in your office and he tells you that he wants to travel on 10th of April from Dubai to Islamabad. First, you will enter basic availability command like this. Now this passenger says that he wants to return after one month. 
then in that case instead of typing long availability command simply type k or hash 30 30 means 30 days which is one month hit enter system will reverse the sector and it will change the date and it will change the date into 30 days ahead of your original availability date this is how you can make your work easier and short and these were some extra availability short commands that i wanted to share with you i hope you liked the video thank you so much